So when we're thinking about how, you're very data oriented, mm -hmm. so when you think about, well, how should an SEO start to quantify and prioritize changes, yeah. do you have any tips for how they can calculate that? Sure, so there's a lot of ways, um, sort of, you know, top-down approaches and bottom-up approaches. We spent some time, as you know, um, trying to build opportunity reports that would say, okay, for a given business and a given keyword set, there's a certain amount of search inventories out there and there's a certain amount of revenue that you can drive incrementally from getting you know, better SEO. So that's one way that we've looked at it, is to say, okay, bottom up, let's build these models where the opportunity is. But then you kind of have to look at it from a different angle as well and you have to say, what are my realistic opportunities to get things done? Where, what are my easy wins? So there's sort of a marrying up of priorities there where you can say, well, here's our sort of our, our ranking and priority according to revenue upside. But at the same time, as you know, Yahoo and everywhere else, successful SEO has to do with getting with the product and the engineering people and actually getting stuff done. And so what you don't want to do is say, well, this is my biggest priority over here and bang away on it for a year and never get anywhere because the, that particular group of engineers or product people isn't really that interested in SEO, right? So uh, you got to kind of balance those two things.